Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to talk about constraints. So on the screen, I've got several tasks as you can see and nothing is linked up. I'm going to go into the task information on one of these tasks just to look at where the constraints are. So I'm just going to double click into task four. Now constraints are on the advanced tab and you've got this constraint type option and the default setting is as soon as possible if you have a project going from a start date, which would be today. If it is going from a end date or a finish date, the default would be as late as possible. So if I just cancel this off for a second, I'm just going to project information. That's where you set this look. So it's on a start date. If I change that to a finish date and then click OK. And then just double click into that. This would be set to as late as possible. I'll just click on, well, I'll cancel that one off. So that's what I want to talk about. I'm going to put this back to as soon as possible. Start date. Now, if you link these together, so I'll just do a normal staggered link. Follow on. They're all following on. If I put this um, project to a finish date, what will happen is whatever I set as a finish date, these will all pull forward. So I'll just do that in project. And I'll change the finish date forward a little bit. So I'll go to the 25th of May, say. And then click OK. So they've all gone forward to the 25th of May because they're all linked. So today is the 10th which is here, Tuesday the 10th, then I'll go in there. So if you set that, that is basically everything you link is going to come back off that date. That's the end date. So hopefully you don't set this up and then find that these are all linking back and going back in time past today, because obviously then that's not a doable thing. And you'd have to reduce some of these durations to make it fit. It's quite a common thing. So that's basically what happens when you change the actual project information, I'll put it back to project start date and today, and then they'll all jump back to today, the 10th. So that's just using the project information, but individually in the constraints, you can actually change the individual ones. And I'm going to insert a column. I'll just right click and insert column here and the type C for constraints, constraint type. So the default is they're all as soon as possible. Now what happens if this task is delayed or you want to move this task forward? Move task, keep the link, okay? It just, it expands, but it doesn't bring all this stuff with it. Now if I undo that and I put this one as late as possible and then move that again see what happens so it's still doing the same thing as late as possible because that's the end date of the project now if I want all of these to move so I don't want it to do that I don't want that to happen so I'll just do control undo Z if I put all of these to as late as possible and then let's see what happens now. So if I move that forward, they all move forward because they're all as late as possible. So changing these constraints is going to affect all of these. And because I'm moving it, you see what's happening there? That changed, if I pull this into next week, start no earlier than. So it went from as late as possible to start no earlier than because I'm physically moving the date and that's putting a constraint on. So if I undo this and just show that again, it happens whenever you move a task, not just this, this example. If I put task five in there, uh, just say that's a two day task. There's no constraint on that, that's default. If I just double click into it, it's as soon as possible. But as soon as I start messing about with this on the Gantt chart, it puts a constraint on, start no earlier than in this case. And that's just a representation of what's in here. 
because I've moved it and I physically give it a date by moving it. So that's now put a constraint on. So you have to be careful when you're moving these tasks. The same thing would apply if I put that back to as soon as possible, which is the default. As soon as possible, should I say, not as late as possible. It comes back to today and that symbol goes because there's no constraint. Now what happens if I change the date box? If I change the date box to the 11th, again I get that constraint coming on. Because Project likes to schedule, it is a scheduling tool by default. It wants to do the scheduling based on the links and duration that you've put in. So if you start messing about with the timeline, the dates, it's then making that task more important, which is not to say you can't do that. So this one, for example, if I say this task must finish on and then continue continue must finish on will be set okay you now get a different symbol in there that one's got a blue marker this one's got a red one and if I just double click into that task you can see there it's got must start on and that's the date and if I change the date which go forward to the 24th it moves everything across because they're on as late as possible it's pulling them with it which is sometimes what you want. It's not always what you want, but you've got to set these up so it's, when you move something, it reacts how you expect it to do. And I think the best way to get your head around it is to do it like this and have a little play around. What happens if I can do this task before that? See, it's asking me to remove the link. What if I want to pull the whole thing back? Can I pull it back? It does let me pull it back, but it's just making these gaps bigger and bigger. And if that's okay, that's fine, but if I push this forward, continue, I don't want to, I've got a constraint on that, that's why it's asking me to do that. So I need to double click into that and change the date. So I'll just put that forward to the 24th, 25th, and it just moves forward, but it's not pulled the rest of it. Because these are now changed, they're no longer on as late as possible. So as soon as you put them as late as possible, everything moves forward again, and it jumps about. Yeah, it's telling me to pull it down. So that's just a quick look at those basic ones. Now there is another tool you can use. If I just put these back as soon as possible, um, you can use, instead of changing changing this around, you can just use, do, I'm do them all, get rid of that one. In fact, I don't need these last two, get rid of them. You can use what's called a deadline marker, which is a, a visual indicator, and it's, it's just in the same place. If I double click on task two, and this top bit here, deadline marker, so instead of putting a constraint on with all the nuances that a constraint type does, just look at them all in there, different ones, and you can either select a manual as you saw, or you can pull this across and it does it for you. This deadline marker allows you to select a date to put an indicator on the screen. So if I put 25th, which is in the future, click OK to that. You get that little indicator there. You can pick that up and move it. And if it goes past it, you get a warning in the information column that you've gone past the deadline marker. So that's all that is. It's not a it's not going to stop anything moving. I mean I can move things past that. Keep the link. It's gone past it and I've got the constraint and I've got a constraint and the and I've gone past the deadline marker now. So I'll just undo that. To get rid of that, I think this is just a, a, a management information tool and it's only going to be showing if you've got the information column on because if I go into a different table, for example, the cost table, that column is not on as default. So whatever you're working, if you go to the tracking table, it's not on in the tracking table either. So it's, it's, it's on in the entry table. You can add it to any of these other columns, obviously, but just bear that in mind that you're not always gonna see that if you're working in a different, a different view down here. Um, to get rid of it, you have to go back into it, double click into the task two, and just delete the date out of there altogether. And then, okay. So that's just a quick look at constraints and a deadline. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.